Um, what is up guys it is the peter obi movement and we are here we are here as in we dig ground we full ground we full ground all right guys so it's a very huge 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 backup for peter obi because right now the all youths are all running out to go get their pvc even banky w wellington did a very free and um, affordable easy to assess um voters card registration all in his district where he win where he won his um primaries and all of that and it's a beautiful one to see how all the youths are really coming out because guys if you check them now uh, most of these politicians don't they fear you know most of them they fear say the youths don't they get their power back they don't they try to do one or two but if you check speculation many people they talk say ah nothing will happen no see at the end of the day see if you know give this man power but we could see as he won't be most of us only think i say ah so I say they talk like this, no need to go vote now. I beg, no let that one enter your head though. Once that day reach, or more, carry your voter's card, go do your thing. Because last, last, all, all the youth will still come as I do it too if you do. Because at the end of the day, if you want to sit and just watch and say, okay, nothing will happen, they're not going to give him power. What what would we stand on? We would not be able to stand on anything. But if we come out and vote and we do all our civil rights, and he comes out to win uh -huh, and they not now give it to him their problem will come day but as it sees let every youth come out right now um there has been a very large rally for peter obi they call it the one million youths one million youths went out on the streets and they were all campaigning for peter obi because why we have people who are out to say okay this man has been able to give us some credible information Reverifiable information you can verify you can re-verify you can also go do your check-ins he even mentioned the name of the banks where he gave his um before he handed over he mentioned like three banks where he dropped almost like 12 12 billion each in each of those banks billionaire you know giving to the incoming governor all right so that is a good credible and uh, enough credibility for us to to work with and verifying it if you can go to any of those bank and verify you will get your findings so peter obi is the man for the youth we want someone who will come and change the situation all right we stand peter obi let us know what you think about peter obi in the comment section and my personal opinion and suggestion will be that ah please oh our president incoming peter obi that he should be more careful because right now the people that are in power may not want to see the best of him so you know like in abiola's time now that kind of thing happened the yes abiola died so we don't want to hear that kind of thing so both in prayers both in being physically protected we need to protect our man as youth so that no evil will come near him all right guys so let us know what you think about uh, peter obese and one million miles by the youths in the Kaja lagos and then um, tell us what you think about peter obi being protected and being secured you know because at the end of the day it is us that is the youth that will make the decision for who we want to put all right so let us know your opinion very quickly in the comment section below all right if you are a new subscriber welcome to the channel if you're yet to subscribe please smash the subscribe button and share this video to your friends and family so everybody is aware of the movement all right peace out guys and as always do have a very very wonderful life